everyone. Welcome to Science and Stories. I'm so glad you're here. Can you help me sing my welcome song? Are you ready? Let's start with our double wave. Hello to everyone. And how are you today? We've come to our science time to laugh and sing and play. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so slow. Do it as slow as they'll go. And then roll your hands so fast. Give your hands a clap, 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 and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. I've got my science bag. Let's take a look. Oh, what is in here today? Oh my goodness, it's heavy. It feels very heavy. Do you think we can figure it out? What sh how should we figure it out? You wanna use all of our senses and see if we can't decide or guess what's inside the science bag today? Let's use our eyes to see, our ears to hear. We'll use our nose to smell and our mouth to taste and then we'll use our fingers to touch and then we'll learn so much, right? Let's give it a go. We'll use our eyes first and take a look and see how big is this thing that is in our science bag. It doesn't fill up the whole bag, just the bottom. Can you see what shape it is? Oh, and I'll tell you, I'm using my fingers to feel this and it's hard. Listen close and you can tell that it's hard too, just by the way it sounds when I knock on it. Are you ready? Use your ears to listen. Here we go. Did you hear that? It's like knocking on a hard door, not like knocking on a pillow. A pillow is soft, a door is hard, and this is hard too. All right, so now we know it's this size, it's hard. Do you believe me that it's heavy? I'm gonna to toss it up in the air and see if it comes down with a thud. If it's heavy, we would expect it to come down with a thud. If it's light, it would come down soft as a feather or a pillow. Let's give it a try, you ready? One, two, three. That was a thud. Did you hear it? It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. It's about this size. It's hard. You can tell the shape. I'll give it a, I'll give it a sniff and see if it smells. Mm, no smell today. And I think I don't want to taste this either. Do you have a guess at what this might be? Just by using all of our senses to try and figure it out? We use all of our senses except we didn't look inside. Do you think you can tell what it is? Do you have a guess, a prediction of what I'm gonna pull out of the bag? Are you ready? All right, let's pull it out. Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! Did you guess? That might have been really hard to guess. What is this? It's a flashlight. Have you ever used a flashlight? Should I push this button? What do you think will happen when I push this button? Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's the on button. It turns the light on. And now I can use my flashlight to, what do you use the flashlight for? Have you ever been camping and used the flashlight at night? Have you ever used the flashlight around the house when it's dark? to go on a nighttime scavenger hunt or outside in your yard when it's dark. It's getting dark earlier now, so you have more of a chance before bedtime maybe to use your flashlight outside. I also like to use a flashlight to make shadows. Do you know how to make a shadow? What do you need to make a shadow? A light, a flashlight, what else? Let's do some research. I've got a great story today. We'll use this book to do some research about shadows. It's called Bear Shadow by Frank Ash. 
Let's see what we can learn about how to make a shadow. It starts like this. One day, Bear went down to the pond with his fishing pole and a big can of worms. While he was putting a worm on his hook, he looked down and saw a big fish. I'm gonna catch that fish, thought Bear to himself. But when Bear stood up to throw his line in the water, his shadow scared the big fish away. Go away, shadow, cried Bear. But Bear's shadow would not go away. Okay, said Bear, if you won't go away on your own, then I'll just have to get rid of you. And he put down his fishing pole and began to run. He ran around the pond. When he got to the other side, he kept on running. He ran through a field of flowers, jumped over the brook, and hid behind a tree. Good, thought Bear. Now Shadow can't find me. But Bear was wrong. When he stepped out from behind the tree, the first thing he saw was his shadow. Nearby was a cliff. Bear walked over to the cliff and looked up. I'll climb so high, Shadow won't be able to follow me, thought Bear. He climbed higher and higher until at last he pulled himself up to the top. Huffing and puffing, he smiled with pride. Then he looked down and saw his shadow. Now Bear was very annoyed. So he went home and got a hammer and some nails to nail his shadow to the ground. He hammered and hammered and hammered, but no matter how many nails he hammered, he couldn't nail his shadow down. If I can't nail him down, thought Bear, maybe I can bury him. So he got his shovel and dug a hole. When the hole was deep and wide, he let his shadow fall in the hole. Then Bear filled in the hole with dirt. When he was finished, it was almost noon. The sun was high in the sky and Shadow was nowhere to be seen. At last, sighed Bear, no more Shadow. But now Bear was very tired. So he went inside and took a little nap. While he slept, time passed and the sun once again cast shadows everywhere. When Bear got up and opened his door, he saw his shadow right on the floor. Not you again, exclaimed Bear. And he slammed the door, hoping to lock Shadow inside. But Shadow was too quick. Hmm, sighed Bear. How about this? If you let me catch a fish, I'll let you catch one too. Nod your head like this if it's a deal. When Bear nodded his head, Shadow nodded too. So Bear went back to the pond and once again threw his line in the water. By this time, the sun was in a different part of the sky, which made it easy for Shadow to keep his part of the deal. And when Bear caught that big fish, Shadow caught one too.
the end. Hmm. Did you notice that as the day went by, the sun moved in the sky? And that made a difference to where Bear Shadow was? Have you ever noticed this before? Let's check it out down here on the mat. I have a little flashlight. I have a pretend sun. I'm going to put the flashlight right in the middle. And we'll turn it on. Now we've got some light. We'll pretend like this is the sun. I have a little bear. And he's going to set right here, right next to the pond. Can you see the fish in the pond? And here's our sun, a bright light. Let's see if we can make a shadow. When Bear was fishing in the morning, the sun was at his back. Where's his shadow? Do you see that it's in the pond, scaring away this fish? As the day went by, the sun moved in the sky. When it was right over top of Bear, where's his shadow? Is it underneath the bear? We can't even see it. When Bear came back after his nap, the sun had moved in the sky. It was now on this side of the pond. And where's Bear's shadow? It won't scare the fish away now. We can make the shadows shorter and longer as we move the light in the sky. Go outside in the morning and then again in the afternoon. You could use some chalk on your sidewalk or driveway and draw your shadow and see how it changes as the sun moves in the sky. There's also a tree in the story. Do you remember that bear hid behind the tree? And then the light from the sun shone down on the tree and the tree blocked the light. And now all we can see is the tree shadow. Why is that? Why can't we see bear shadow anymore? <laughs> we can make the tree shadow long and short too. Anything can block the sun. Let's have some fun with some other things that will block the light and make shadows. All right, to make a shadow, we need a light. The sun can be the light or a flashlight can be the light. And you need something to block the light. So we'll use my little bear. Let's see if we can make a shadow on my shadow puppet theater um, screen. So I made a shadow puppet theater with a box and then I cut out a hole in one side of the box and put paper, taped paper inside. And if I put my light against the theater stage, can you see that? And then we'll put our bear in front of the light. Let's see if we can make a shadow on the paper. Can you see it? Can you tell that it's the bear by the shape of the shadow? Let's play a game and see if you can tell what I have behind my theater box just by looking at the shape. Are you ready? Here's the first shape. Can you tell what that is? Yell out your guess. All right. Did you guess right? It was a pair of scissors. Let's see if I can make another shadow. I'm gonna use something else to block the light. Do 
you see the shadow? Can you tell what it is by the shape? What's your guess? Ta-da! Did you guess right? It's a hammer. A hammer was blocking the light and making that shadow. All right, here's another one. Can you see the shadow shape? What is it? One, two, three. Did you guess right? The spoon was blocking the light and making a shadow on my puppet theater screen. You can also cut out shapes and have a puppet show. I cut out the shape of a butterfly. And can you guess this one? I'm going to put it right up into my puppet theater. A bunny shape. You could make up a story with a butterfly and a bunny. I've got a puppet theater story for you using some shadow puppets that I made. My caterpillar and a leaf goes like this. There was a hungry caterpillar looking for his lunch. He climbed up on a milkweed leaf. Munch, munch, munch. And then he made a little chrysalis. He was tucked away inside. And when he was good and ready, he became a butterfly. Could make some puppet shapes of your own, some shadow shapes of your own. This one I printed off the computer. It came from Ranger Rick Jr.'s website. You can cut out a bunny or a squirrel or a butterfly or a turtle and tape or glue them onto a stick and put on a puppet show. Remember, you'll need a light. Right? A light and something to block the light to make a shadow. A friend of mine, you could draw your own shapes too. A friend of mine made me this turtle puppet. Let's see how it works. Yep, that works. I can make up a turtle story. Print off some shapes or cut some of your own. and See if you can put on a shadow puppet show for your friends or family. Thanks for being with me today. I'll see you next time.